Hello everybody! Now it's Miss Cook this week for phonics and maths home learning and Miss Dolby tells me that you've been learning lots of sounds on your YouTube channel so I'm going to see how well you know them now so I want to see you looking and listening and put your phonics hat on because we're going to do our sounds we know and our camera words that we know and then we're going to learn a new sound and camera word today. Are you ready? You sure? Okay, let's go. Let's start today with the new sounds that you know as they're fresh in our minds. Are you ready? Can you remember what sound this makes? It's qua, like you've got a duck's beak and you're gonna go qua, qua, qua. Well done. Who can remember what kind of sound this is? It's a digraph, isn't it? Two letters that make just one sound, qua. And ch, ch, ch. Super duper. Now we're going to whiz through all of these sounds that we know because you are amazing at these and we've done these so many times. Now we are going to just say the sound just once because it's much quicker for us to get through them. Are you ready? S Oops. Ah. I. Mm. Mm. D. G. O. K. K. E. A. R. K. B. Oh, oh, j, j, w, x, y, z. Last one, z. Gosh, aren't you all super duper at home? Okay, let's have a look at the camera words that we already know. So again, we're going to go through these speedy weedy, as you are super at them. And if you find these a bit tricky, remember you can always rewind this little bit that we're going to do now and practice them a few times if you want to. Because camera words are very important because when you read books, you will see them in the reading books and it helps you be able to read it a little bit quicker. Are you ready? Now, I think you've had a peep at my first one, so I might be cheeky and mix them up. <gasps> Just to keep you on your toes. Okay. Let's go. No. Go. Into. To. The. I. Now, we've got a couple of our new ones coming up now. He. So all of these new ones, the ones that Miss Dolby taught you last week, they give you a clue, the first sound that you can say. And this is normally the E, eh, but it actually makes the E sound in these camera words, which is why we call them camera words, because if we sounded them out, it would be E, eh, H, E. And that doesn't make sense, does it? That's why we call these camera words, because they are easier for us just to remember by sight rather than sounding out. He. Remember to look at the first one to give you a clue me, we, and I think you've got B and it's lost in my pile. So let me have a look. Here it is, B. Okay, we know lots of camera words now, don't we? And we're going to learn a new one today, which will be sort of easy to learn because it's actually got a digraph in it that you learnt last week with Miss Dolby. So this is the camera word, she. Can you see the sh? Diagraph that Miss Dolby taught you last week. Shh. And it's just here. Let me show you just to remind you what it looks like when it's on its own. Shh. And it's got that eh sound at the end, but when you say it in this word, shh, eh, sh, eh, that doesn't make sense, does it? So that's why we call it a camera word because we can't sound this out. Shh, e, she. 
Can you think of a sentence with the word she in it? My turn. She is going to the park. Can you say a sentence with the word she in it? Okay, so now that we are learning more about digraphs, I just thought we'd just quickly again look at the ones that we already know because all of these sounds have two letters that make one sound, okay? So we've got ch, sh, and qu. And our new sound that we're going to be learning about this week is called th. Now this sound is very special because actually it makes two sounds and I'm going to explain to you what they are now. Now, I said to you just a moment ago that this sound is very naughty, okay, or very cheeky. And the reason it is um, so naughty is because the characters in our Jolly Phonics book at school um, are actually being a little bit silly with each other, okay? So in our story, we have two clowns. This here is Theo, and this clown here is Velma, okay? So Theo and Velma. And you're probably wondering, oh well Miss Cook you've said there's two sounds that this makes. So we've got the sound that is so what you do is you poke your tongue out like this and you put your teeth on top of your tongue and you say can you try that? And it also makes another sound where you bring your tongue in a little bit so you don't poke it out as much this time and it's Mm. Okay, and you can feel that sort of vibrate a little bit on your on your tongue when you do it. So we've got th and mm. Now today we're going to be thinking about the sound th, okay, where you stick your tongue out a bit longer, and this is the soft th, okay? And to be honest, it doesn't really matter if you're not sure which one it is when you're reading a word, because all you can do is if it doesn't make sense when you read a word, you just go back and have another go at reading it. So today we're going to be thinking about a new sound that is th. Let's play I spy with my little eye. What can you see that has got the sound th in it? So we've got thunder, we've got a thumbs up, we've got somebody's brain and your brain is used to do some thinking so it's got the th sound in it. Can you remember what number this is? It's the number three. Three's got the th sound in it too. And also a thistle. Now this sound sounds a little bit like the th sound. The th sound sounds a bit like th, okay? And it is a bit tricky when you're learning to write words especially don't worry, okay? All we're going to be focusing on today, though, is making sure that we poke our thumb out. Thumb, see, even Miss Cook's getting it wrong. We poke our tongues out and we say, th. okay. Now let's have a little go at learning how to write our new sound. So what we are going to do is we are going to take our pen and we are going to start with our entry stroke up that we always use. Are you ready? Entry stroke up to the top, stop, down in a straight line, up to the top, stop, down in a straight line, up, over and flick. Okay, now you could try this on a whiteboard, on a piece of paper, or you can even try it on your magic notebook that we use in our class, okay? So your magic notebook is the palm of your hand and you're going to use your pen, your, your finger as your pen. Are you ready? So we start here and I'm going to do it on the screen and I want you to give your hand a little tickle and practice that th sound. Now when we write digraphs we try and join them up because it helps us remember, that the, remember the two letters that come together. Are you ready? Get your magic notebook or your pen or whatever you're using. Entry stroke up to the top stop, down in a straight line, up, all the way to the top, stop, down in a straight line, back up, over and flick. Very super duper. Okay, the next thing that we are going to do now is we're going to have a little practice at reading words with the sound in it. 
Okay, so when we read words with diagraphs in, can you remember what we have to do? We have to put a line under it because it reminds us that we say the sound just once, okay, rather than the single sounds on their own. So let's see if we can spot a new diagraph in this word. Have you spotted it? It's just here, isn't it? Look, there we go. So I put my line underneath it and now I'm going to put my sign buttons on my other words. Let's have a go at reading it. M, off, m, off, moth. It's a moth. Now, I just want to show you what would happen if you didn't put um, a line underneath the th, okay? So we would have m, a, t, m, a, t. Is that a word? Do you recognise that word, motta? No. So then it probably tells you that something's not been said correctly. So then have a little look again and then look to see if there's any diagraphs and then you'll spot it, okay? It is tricky to begin with, it really is, but we're going to keep practising at this, okay everyone? So don't worry if you're finding it tricky at the moment, we'll keep going. Okay, let's have a look at the next one. So we've got the diagraph hidden in the word. Can you see it? Here it is here, look. Let's put our other sign buttons on. Okay, let's go. B, A, F, B, A, F, Bath. Oh, look, it's a monkey in a bath. Oh, I love having a bath. It's lovely, especially with the weather being so cold at the moment. Okay, next one then. Let's have a look at this word. Can you see the F digraph? Now in this word, it's not at the end, like it was in the other two words that we've just looked at. This time, it's at the beginning. Did you spot it? E. Oh look, there's another digraph. Let's put it together. Ick. Ick. Thick. Well done. This is a picture of a rectangle and it's quite thick. Okay, if it was thin, the opposite of thick, it would look like that. But because it says thick, it's a thick rectangle, it means it's wider, okay? Right then, let's have a go this time at writing a word. Now this is a lovely picture, isn't it? It's a picture of the countryside. And if you were to have a walk in the countryside, in the countryside you might walk along this here. Do you know what it is? Or what it's called? It's called a path. Now, to write the word path, we might need to use our sound map. Okay, now that we're learning more about diagraphs and now that we're learning more camera words, we actually use a different sound map now at school because there are so many more things that we might need to use when we're doing our writing. So here you can see we've got the sound map with lots of diagraphs up here. And we don't know all of these yet. We just know these here at the top, ch, sh, and th, okay. And we've also got our camera words just down here that we know already. And we've got the new camera words that Miss Dolby taught you last week and our new one today, she, okay? So I'm going to upload this new sign map onto our class page so that you can print it off or you can look at it when you're doing writing because it has got lots of sounds on there that we're going to be learning about now. Now, if you still need to use the, the previous sign map we had, which was more focused on how to form letters, you can still use that one. Or you can just look on here because we've got all of the letters along the top and also along the bottom as well, okay? I think it's cut it off on my screen on here, but on the website when you download it, it will all be on there fully for you, okay? Now we're going to write the word path today. What sound does path begin with? Let's begin by using our phoneme fingers to sound it out. P -a -th. P -a -th. Path. The first sound is p, okay, so I'm going to do my entry stroke up, down, up, and around. There we go. P, a, th. What's the next sound? It's a, well done. Entry stroke up, over, stop, back, around, up to the top, down, and flick. P, a, th, path. Now you might be thinking, Miss Cook, it sounds like a th sound, like this, okay? But that would say p 
path, path. And we don't say path, we say path, okay? It's really tricky, but we're having a good try, okay? So now I'm going to look on my sound map, my new one, and have a look for the new sound and now you can see that there are pictures next to them to give us a clue. Do you remember we talked about Theo the clown? Here he is here looking in the picture to remind us that this is the th sound. So I'm going to do my entry stroke up to the top, down in a straight line. I'm going to join it up to the top, down, up and over, flick and across the middle. These aren't joined just to remind you how to do the letters. But remember, joining is just really you not stopping. You just carry on with your pencil and you continue. Let's put our sign buttons on just to check that it's right. We want it to say the word path. P -a -th path. Well done, everybody. Whew, that was tricky learning, wasn't it? OK, now we're going to have a little go at reading a sentence and putting our new sound into practice. So let's have a look. Now, the first thing we do when we read sentences is we look for any camera words that we know. Can you see any camera words? Here's one. What camera word is that? It's B, isn't it? B. And there's also a key word in this sentence. That's right. A. Or some, some of you might say A. Ah, OK, the rest of the sounds in this, um, the rest of the words in this sentence can be sounded out. So let's have a start by trying to find our new digraph. Can you see it anywhere? Here it is. I'm going to put a line under it there. And can you spot any other digraphs that we learned last week? Here's the qu sound. And we also know the k sound is a digraph too. Okay, I'm going to put all my sound buttons on and then we're going to blend it together. Are you ready? Let's go. A, m, off, m, off, moth. A moth, k, a, n, can. A moth can be qu, ik, qu, ik, quick. A moth can be quick. Well done. Oh, that was tricky, wasn't it? Okay, now we're going to have a look at your activity for today. Now, I want you today to have some fun with your thumb because we have got a new sound and is in the word thumb. So today I want you to paint your thumb and I want you to create your own little creatures or little people using your thumbprint. Now you can have a look on here for um, some ideas, but you could challenge yourself to create the thumb alphabet. So use your thumbprint to create creatures beginning with all the different letters in the alphabet. So here we've got A for apple, B for B, C for cat, D for dog, E for elephant, F for flower, G for giraffe and H for horse. So I'd love to see your thumb alphabets today. You can use paint to do this. Um, and I would love to see on tapestry all of your thumb prints, okay? And do you know what's special about a thumb print? Everybody's print is completely different. We've all got our own special pattern. And if you look closely at your thumb, you will see lots and lots of tiny little lines. Have a close look at yours, because yours is unique to you. Nobody in the world has the same thumbprint as you, okay? Have a lovely day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow for phonics. Have a good one.